Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to create a really good password for your website logins. Now, passwords are becoming easier and easier to hack as time goes on. So what we need to do here is come up with some strong passwords and there's a couple other things too that you should consider is changing them every year or so and also adding two-factor authentication but having a good password is the first line of defense. So how do we do that? First of all, you can just come up with something creatively in your mind, having a really long sentence, like the cow jumped over the purple moon at midnight. Uh, that's something that is so random and weird and it can work. It's long enough too. So the other thing is going onto a website right click on the password field and you may see an option to generate a password depending on the website and which web browser you're using the wording may be different but you should be able to find an option to generate a random password a third way of doing this is going to a website like this where you can randomly generate passwords. So Avast offers this. This is a well-known trusted security company. So we can go on here and you'll see it's defaulting to a password length of 15. You could change that by dragging the slider here. All It goes all the way up to 50 characters long, which is absolutely incredible but you can put it anywhere you want i wouldn't recommend eight and eight is what they say is the default password and if you look at the scale here it actually tells you what's good weak very weak so if we leave this at eight you'll see it's got uppercase lowercase numbers it doesn't have symbols turned on so if we turn on symbols and it regenerates the password so we see upper lower their symbol and I don't have a number in here. Let's try this again here. Now we've got a number with upper, lower, and there's a symbol. Okay, so we're getting all four of the different type of characters with a minimum of eight characters, but it's considered just a good password. That's not great. We're looking for great passwords. So if we go up with all of this, Finally, at 10 characters long, it's considered strong, but we can go a bit higher. By the time we hit 12, is very strong, and I don't think it matters after very strong. So at that point, 12 is very strong. I always go by 15 characters, which is the default on this website. If we just refresh the site, we can see it's 15 characters as the default, but it does not include symbols as the default. So we're gonna to wanna to add that on, it regenerates it. Just have a quick look to make sure that you see one of each type of character in here. And it seems like, again, it didn't put in a number. So it's not always perfect with adding all of these as a requirement. So. There could be other websites out there that will do something, but we don't know them. We can't uh, vouch for them, but this is a trusted site. So you can use this to help you to generate a random password or just simply write something down, making use of all these minimum requirements and you can go from there. So whether you're using a password generator or just your own creative mind, Make sure that you're creating something with at least 15 characters that has uppercase, lowercase, number, and a symbol, and try to update your password every year. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.